So in today's video, I want to talk about uh, some of the important uh, maritime and seafaring based organizations. So today's video will focus on the organization of BIMCO, uh, CIGTO and OCIMF. If you don't know what these are, this is the video for you. So we'll start with BIMCO. BIMCO stands for the Baltic and International Maritime Council. Uh, it was established in 1905 uh, in Copenhagen as the world's largest and most diverse private shipping organization. The objective of BIMCO was to unite the shipping interest and pursue the issues that affected its members. BIMCO has consistently managed to be both flexible and supportive of its member interests, capable of proactive action and responding quickly to new priorities in a fast changing maritime environment in an often uncertain and unpredictable world. BIMCO membership spans more than 125 countries now and includes more than 2,600 companies. Owner members alone control 65% of the world's merchant fleet while 1,500 or more than 1,500 brokers and agents and 100 club associate members complete the BIMCO international coverage. BIMCO is one of the leading interest groups and membership organizations that offer practical and tangible services to ship owners, managers, brokers, agents, operators, associations, and other entities that are closely associated with the shipping industry. The aim of BIMCO is that of free trade, access to markets, trade facilitation and harmonization, promotion of safety and quality and security. BIMCO focus is on promotion of high shipping standards and support of existing measures to ensure quality shipping as well as the standardization of regulations and a worldwide implementation regime. Membership in BIMCO is open to companies involved in all sectors of shipping. After BIMCO, we move to SIGTO, which stands for Society of International Gas Tankers and Terminal Operators. SIGTO was born out of a recognition that an industry specializing in the transport of liquefied gases needed to establish and promote the adoption and implementation of the very highest standards if it was first to win and then to maintain the confidence of the public and consumers at large. In acting as a beacon for quality and best practices, SIGTO and its members have just done that and that the excellent safety and pollution record of the seaborne gas transport industry to date defines it quite categorically as a highly responsible and effective sector and industry. Formed originally with 13 members, the society has steadily grown over 20 years to a membership of more than 100 companies representing virtually the whole of the world's LNG trades, that is your liquefied, liquefied natural gas trades, and over half of its LPG capacity. The purpose of SIGTO has been an active participant in the work of the International Maritime Organization since it was granted observer status back in 1982. It has become universally recognized as the authoritative voice of the gas shipping and terminal industries and has made a significant contribution over the years to the development and implementation of a wide variety of IMO measures. The Society is the international body established for the exchange of technical information and experience between members of the industry to enhance the safety and operational reliability of gas tankers and terminals. The organization has been organized to encourage safe and responsible operation of liquefied gas tankers and marine terminals handling liquefied gas. It also has been organized to develop advice and guidance for best industry practice among its members and promote criteria for best practice to all who have responsibilities for or an interest in the continuing safety of gas tankers and terminals. The benefits of SICTO membership include access to information that is exclusive only to members such as casualty and industry statistics, access to the technical advisors in the London Liaison Officer who can give advice and obtain advice on behalf of a member from within the society. It also provides access to the very comprehensive technical library 
maintained in the London office. Submitting proposals for projects and studies to the General Purposes Committee and participating in discussion forums with other members twice each year on topics of particular and mutual interest are the other benefits of a SIGTO membership. We finally move on to the Oil Companies International Marine Forum. This stands for OCIMF, which is a voluntary association of oil companies having an interest in the shipment and terminaling of crude oil and oil products. The aim is to provide expert advice and service on the safe and environmentally responsible operation of oil tankers and terminals, promoting continuous improvement in the standards of design and operation. Formed in London in April 1970, it was initially the oil industry's response to increasing public awareness of marine pollution, particularly by oil after the Torrey Canyon incident. If you don't know what the Torrey Canyon incident was, it was a vessel that went aground, I think over the coast or close to the coast of Italy, that also led to the breaking of the vessel and a subsequent grounding and oil spill. So it was grounding first and then subsequent breaking up and oil spill of the vessel. Governments had reacted to this incident by debating the development of international conventions and national legislation and the oil industry sought to play its part by making its professional expertise available and its views known to governmental and intergovernmental bodies. The objectives of the OCIMF included uh, incorporation in Bermuda in 1977 and a branch office was established in London primarily to maintain contact with the International Maritime Organization or IMO. And the primary objectives were the promotion of safety and prevention of pollution from tankers and oil tankers or oil terminals. OCIMF was granted consultative status in 1971 at the IMO. It is organized to coordinate oil industry views at IMO meetings to review technical purposes circulated by IMO and to advise its members on legislative activities as they develop. OCIMF presents its members' views before individual national governmental authorities and maintains a close liaison with other industry bodies and associations. An important contribution to the overall safety of the industry is the role that OCIMF plays in producing technical and operational guidelines either by itself or in cooperation with other industry associations. OCIMF has produced in excess of 50 of these guidelines and many are now taken as the industry standard in their particular field. OCIMF provides the means for joint research projects to be undertaken and coordinated on behalf of its members. Many of these projects, for example, studies on tanker drift and towage, mooring hosel strength, etc. have resulted in technical guidelines being published for the wider benefit of the industry. The strategy of OCIMF is to identify critical safety and environmental issues facing the oil tanker and terminal industry and develop and publish recommended criteria that will serve as benchmarks for the industry. OCIMF also in conjunction with the IMO and other regulatory bodies, both regional and national, support the development of international conventions and regulations that enhance the safe construction and operation of oil tankers and terminals, support the global implementation and enforcement of such international conventions and regulations, and encourage industry-wide acceptance of established safety and environmental guidelines and recommendations. One of the main initiatives of OCIMF has been the formation of a SIRE or what stands for Ship Inspection Report Program. It was launched in 1993, one of the most significant initiatives of the OCIMF to specifically address concerns about substandard shipping. The SIRE program is a unique tanker risk assessment tool of value to charters, ship operators, terminal operators, and government bodies concerned with ship safety. The system is a very large database of up-to-date information about tankers. Especially, SIRE has focused tanker industry awareness on the importance of meeting satisfactory tanker quality and ship safety standards. Since its introduction, the SIRE program has received industry-wide acceptance and participation by both OCIMF members, program recipients, and by ship operators. The expansion of barges and small vessels into SIRE 
was inaugurated in late 2004. The SIRE program requires a uniform inspection protocol that is predicated by the following the vessel inspection questionnaire and barge inspection questionnaire. The uniform SIRE inspection report also includes the vessel's particular questionnaire and barge particular questionnaire. There is an electronic access to the SIRE system available these days, of course, via the internet. These features have been established to make the program more uniform and user friendly and to provide a level of transparency unique in the marine transportation industry. SIRE has established itself as a major source of technical and operational information to prospective charters and other program users. Its increasing use corresponds with oil industry efforts to better ascertain whether vessels are well managed and maintained. Inspection reports are maintained on the index for a period of 12 months from the date of receipt and are maintained on the database for two years. SIRE access is available at a normal cost to OCIMF members, bulk oil terminal operators, port authorities, canal authorities, oil power industrial or oil trader companies with charter tankers or barges as a normal part of their business. It is also available free of charge to governmental bodies with supervised safety and or pollution prevention in respect of oil tankers or barges such as port state control authorities, memorandum of understandings, etc. Thanks.